guys, it's Andy. So today's video is going to be my weekly makeup picks video. If you guys aren't familiar with the series I do on my channel, basically every other week I go through my collection and I choose products to use for one week. So I'll show you guys what products I use on Monday and then that following Monday I give you my little mini reviews of them. So stay tuned for that video, but let's just get on into it. Also, excuse my hair, it was really frizzy when I woke up this morning and I was just too lazy so I just threw it in a little half bun, so... Alrighty, so for my foundation this week, I'm going to be using the It Cosmetics Gross Gambit Better CC Plus Cream. It has SPF 50 in it, which I think is amazing. And I'm planning on going to the beach like a bunch of days to do like a couple photo shoots and just hang out. So I really wanted a foundation with SPF, and I've really been enjoying this recently, so I'm excited to use that. My color corrector is from Urban Decay. This is the Urban Decay Naked Skin Color Correcting Fluid in the shade Deep Peach. And they recently came out with this, which I think is amazing. It was really hard to find because I got it when they had just released it and like everyone was going crazy and getting it. And I'm really, really excited to try it out. For my concealer, I'm going to try to use up this little sample of the NARS Creamy Radiant Concealer. I really do like this concealer. It's thicker than a lot of other concealers, so you kind of have to work with it and you have to make sure you really blend it in so it doesn't get cakey throughout the day. But when you do, it looks absolutely amazing. So I just wanted to use up this little sample so I could go ahead and buy the full version. For my bronzer, we're going to go back to the Classics. This is one of my favorite bronzers like of all time. This is the Too Faced Chocolate Soleil Bronzer. It smells really, really good. I am wearing it today. And it's literally the perfect undertone for me for a bronzer. It's a really, really beautiful formula as well. And really, really enjoy this. So I will be using that. For my blush, I'm going to be using the Clinique Cheek Pop in the shade Fig Pop. Super, super cute packaging. But these last literally all day. They are basically cheek stains. And they're absolutely gorgeous, so I love the color of this one, and this is the only one I have, but I do want to pick up more, so I have been enjoying that, so I will go ahead and use that. My hair, I look like a lion. <laughs> For my powder and my contour this week, I will be using the High Filter Hashtag Instamark Bronzer from Marc Jacobs. So this is just like a little duo. I'm going to be using this side, obviously, to set my face because it is a little bit darker, and I'll also use it to set my under eyes and concealer. And then this side, I'm obviously going to use as my contour shade. So I'm really, really excited. I did find this at TJ Maxx for $20, which is amazing. So I'm really excited to test it out. I'm going to be using a liquid highlight this week, and I usually don't really like cream or liquid highlights, but I figured I would go ahead and give this one a try. So I did get this in a boxy charm. It's their attempt to liquid glow in the shade. There's no shade, but I got it from BoxyCharm. I believe it's an exclusive, so I will be using that this week. I recently got the Tarte Make Believe in Your Self Eye and Cheek Palette. It's on sale for $30 instead of $40, so you guys know I had to pick it up. I'm really, really excited to play around with it, and I will be using that middle kind of like highlighty cheek shade to kind of set that liquid highlight as well, so I'm very, very excited to use it. I just think the packaging is so beautiful. For my eyebrow product, I'm going to be using the NYX Micro Brow Pencil. I did recently get this, and I'm very, very excited to try it out. So I will be using that, and I'm also going to be using the NYX Faux White Eyeliner in the shade Linen. I got this from Ulta a while ago, but I'm really, really excited because I just really am on the hunt for a good kind of waterline liner to replace my Rimmel one. The mascara I'm using this month I have had for quite a while, but I've never opened it. This is the Amply Mascara Amplifying Mascara Serum. I don't exactly know what a mascara serum is. It's black, so I'm going to use it as a regular mascara, and we will see how this goes. And my lip product is going to be from Kylie. So this is the Kylie Dolce K Matte Blue Lipstick in the Dolce K Lip Liner. So I will be going ahead and using that this week. I have a feeling this week I want to do kind of liner makeup, so I might just go ahead and put on the lip liner and just not put on the liquid lipstick. I'm not exactly sure yet, but we will see. And finally, I will be using my Hula Face Makeup Setting Spray. I'm very, very excited to use this. Again, it has SPF 30, so because I am going to the beach, I wanted to kind of load up on the SPF. So yeah, I will be using that, and I'm very, very excited. All right, guys, so that is all I have for today's video. I want to thank you so much for watching. I love you, and I'll see you in my next one. Bye. And then I'll dig... This piece is, like, sticking out. All right, so for my primer and setting... Actually, that's the setting spray. That's the deep peach shade digit. Milk chocolate bronze. No, not milk chocolate. I'm not that fair. I wish I was, but I'm not that fair. <laughs>